If your PC is telling you that you can't upgrade to Windows 11 because it doesn't meet the new system requirements, but you still got a pretty solid system, here's how to bypass it without having to reinstall Windows or losing any of your apps or data. So to get started, we're gonna need three things. First, a USB flash drive, at least eight gigabytes in size, which we can plug in. Then we need to navigate to the Microsoft Windows 11 download page. And instead of going to the installation assistant like we did previously, which obviously didn't work, we need to scroll down past that and download a Windows 11 disk image ISO file, which we can download download right here. Now that we have the ISO file, we're gonna need to go to this website right here and download a really cool tool called Rufus, which can take any ISO file and burn it to a USB flash drive with a couple tricks up its sleeve that I'll show you in a second. And as far as the download options, there's a number of different versions. You're gonna want the standard version right here. So with that download, let's go ahead and click to run it. Select yes on the security prompt and that will open up the latest version of Rufus. In here, we need to do a few things. First, we wanna make sure that our flash drive is selected as the device. Right now that's our only USB device, so that's why it's connected there. Then on boot selection, we want it to be on ISO image. Then if we go over to select, this will open up a Windows Explorer window. And here we're gonna wanna navigate to where our ISO is located. In that case, it's on our desktop. So let's go ahead and select that, click open. And because Rufus detected that this is a Windows ISO, it's gonna automatically select the image option for standard Windows installation, which fills out all this information. So all we gotta do is click start. And then you know how I mentioned that Rufus has a trick up its sleeve. Well, that's this window that pops up right after you click start for the Windows user experience, which allows you to customize the installation, including removing your requirements for four gigabytes of RAM, secure boot, TPM, and a bunch of other requirements. In this case, we just wanna make sure that at least that first option is checked, then click okay, and you'll be warned that everything on that flash drive is gonna be deleted, which in this case, because it's blank, we really don't care about, so let's go ahead and click okay. And just like that, Rufus will automatically start burning that ISO file that we got from Microsoft, to our USB flash drive, and we'll even make it bootable if we do wanna do a clean install. But because we don't wanna lose anything now that it's complete, we can close Rufus. Then if we open up the file explorer, go over to our USB flash drive, and double click the setup file, we can now walk through the Windows installation assistant, and we will get a prompt saying that our system doesn't meet the minimum requirements, but if we go ahead and click accept, we don't get stuck like we did last time and we can go ahead and click install. And here we're gonna obviously wanna keep our personal files and apps, so let's go ahead and click next and start the install process. And just like that, we're now upgrading our unsupported Windows 10 system up to Windows 11, bypassing all those requirements. And it ended up taking less than about 20 minutes to get us up to Windows 11 with all of our apps and data transferring right over with absolutely no problems. So just remember, if you wanna upgrade your system to Windows 11 with unsupported hardware, all you need is a flash drive, the Windows 11 ISO, and Rufus.